Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing us how to cut a short sleeve. The sleeve is 9, the round sleeve is 13, and the armhole is 11. Now, we use that for a cutting of the sleeve. Now, you fold the fabric into two. Take note, you fold the fabric into two. And how do you know that this folding is okay? Remember, when we are cutting our top, the distance from the shoulder line to the chest line was 9 inch. So, this should be more than 9 inch. Take note, this should be more like 10, 11, or thereabouts. Alright, the very first thing you need to do, you mark a straight line as shown. Remember, we said we have the outer sleeve and the inner sleeve. And this first line represents our outer sleeve. I also said that the distance from our outer sleeve to our inner sleeve ranges from 3 to 5. 3 to 5. So in this case, I'm using 5 in. So you mark. So this second line represents our inner sleeve. Now, at this point, you mark an X as shown. An X. From the middle, take note from the middle. Now, from here to here, the middle, you move up by half inch. Then from here to here, the middle, you come down by half inch. So the next thing you do, you're making an inverted X. Alright, so let's do that now. Okay? Alright, so I've done that now. Now, the next thing we are making for a short sleeve. Now, the, the sleeve length, take note, the sleeve length is 9 inch. Is 9 inch. Then you're adding 2 inch for folding. Then, the round sleeve, take note, the round sleeve is 14 inch. 14 inch and 1 inch sewing allowance. That is... But before we do this, you fold first. Take note, you first of all fold. You fold as shown. Fold before you do that. The sleeve length again is 9 inch. So, you're folding 9 inch. Now, half inch goes for stitching. 9 and half inch. Half inch goes for stitching. Then at this point, take note. This, the round sleeve is 14. Then, the... The, you add one inch sewing allowance. Take note. We we'll leave this remark at this point. Now, take note. Remember, we said the armhole is 11. Take note, the armhole is 11. So, from this point, these are armhole points. So, you now put your tip here and you mark, mark, measure down to 11. Now, remember, you're not cutting exactly at 11. Remember that when we we're cutting, we did the, the the front was deeper than the back. So in that case, it will be more than 11. So you're marking 12 inch. You're not marking the 11 in this time. You're marking 12 inch. Take note. The reason is because there are sometimes when you're sewing, so you notice that when you're fixing your sleeve to the top, you notice that it, the sleeve is shorter than the top. So in this case, it will solve that problem. Take note. We are doing this. Remember, the armhole here is 11. Take note, the armhole here is 11. But in this case, you're not marking at that 11. You're marking at 12. The reason is because sometimes when you're sewing your sleeve to the top, you notice that the sleeve is shorter than the top. So this will solve the problem. So now from here to here is 7 plus 1 inch. So you now connect these two lines. All right, so. Okay. Alright, so these are sleeves. So at this stage, I'll fold. I'll fold. So this, remember, we said the sleeve should be nine and a half inch, as you can see. Nine and a half inch. Alright, so you iron it down. Alright, then at this point, the round sleeve, take note, the round sleeve is also. Alright, so we put a notch because the top has a notch. Alright, so we'll do this for the second one. Alright, so this is how you cut your sleeve. 